and I'm going to review again. So with this one, we're making 15 quarts of the regular lemonade. And the question is, how much lemon juice do we need? So I want us again to remember to set up our word ratio, our known, and our unknown. And what we're going to be comparing with all of these problems is part to whole. What do we know from your work from yesterday? That in the um, regular lemonade, it's 15%. So we've got 1.5 for 10 quarts, because you guys figured that out from the first problem yesterday. And our unknown is we don't know how much we need for 15 quarts. So if we set that up, we should be able to cross multiply. And we're going to cross multiply 1.5 times 15 and then divide by what? Two. Yeah, so let's do that. <clears throat> 1.5 times 15, I got 22.5. And then we're dividing by how much? Two. And that's going to move that decimal one place over to 2.25. So our x is equal to 2.25, but think about that in quarts. The question is asking, and this is where the word problems can get tricky, because the math is enough to kind of be confusing to set up, but then we have to answer this with words. What does this 2.25 stand for? It's how much, and what's the measurement we're looking at? 15 quarts. We're looking at quarts. So this is 2.25 quarts. Of lemon juice. Now the question isn't asking this, but to get 15 quarts, if I'm putting in 2.25 quarts of lemon juice, how much of the water would I need? Well, we know we want 15, so we need to subtract out the 2.25. That would give us... 12.75, which is 12 and 3 quarter cups of the sugar water. So this number here, combined with the 2.25, gets us to our 15 quarts. That's our whole. Let's keep that in mind. I want you guys to put your computers down. 45, so you don't have to restart, because we're going to need the calculator in a minute. Let's go over to the next question. Number eight says, you mix 13 and a half cups of sugar water and one and a half cups of lemon juice. Which of the three recipes have you made? Well, again, we need part to whole, but in order to do our whole, we need to know how much that mixture makes together. What would 13 point one, 13 and a half plus one and a half equal? I'm trying to find out how much of this was made, right? We mixed this much of the sugar water, this much of the lemon juice. How much total did we make here? 15. Yeah, because one half and one half is another whole. 13 plus that whole plus this one is going to be 15. So our whole is 15. How much lemon juice did we make? If we put in 1.5 of the lemon juice to get 15 quarts, it's got to be the mild. It has to be. Yeah, because look back at number seven. How much lemon juice did we say we were putting in for the, the middle one? Oh. 2.25 or two and a quarter. Isn't that more than this? So this, if this one is one and a half, it must be less than the, the medium recipe. But this is how we figure it out with the proportion. We're going to put X over 100. We should come up with 10% if we're right. Okay, let's go. So open your computers, get back to that calculator and multiply. Okay, Did you get back to 10? Yep. 
the X is 10 and it's over the 100. So this time we're not talking about quarts or cups or pints or anything. It's 10%. Which recipe has 10% lemon juice? Yeah. Do you guys see what I was thinking now about these two? If we know that 15 quarts of this is over two cups and we know we only put in one in something, it's got to have to be the lower one. So you need to have in here that mild is the answer. I'm feeling like a lot of people are playing with their computers. I should see you writing these problems down. Okay, with those, I'm going to have you guys do 9, 10, 11 with your partner. You ready, sir? I want you to do part to whole. Ask the question, do I know the part or do I know the whole? Get your ratios set up. One of these should always be over 100 because we know percents from our recipe, so we're going to end up with something over 100. And try to fill in the rest of this from the word problem. 